All right, thanks, Michelle. Now, in the east on Wednesday, crews were focused on two I states, scouts traveling from Bloomington, Illinois, to Iowa City, Iowa. Farm Journal's Tyne Morgan joins us from there. And Tyne, Illinois has seen it all this growing season. Hail, high winds, and dryness. That's right, Clinton. And don't forget about that derecho. It hit June 29th. And while it did some damage, scouts here say it did more good than it did harm. And that June 29th derecho that hit here in Illinois may have been what actually saved this crop. Soil moisture looks good to me. Best moisture we've had so far yeah, today. As scouts waded through Illinois on Wednesday. Oh, I, I think um, as we keep getting further west, the beans are getting better. They were less than impressed with fields surrounding Bloomington, Illinois. The Bloomington area was very dry earlier in the year, created shorter nodes in the soybeans, thereby shorter soybeans. Megan Yandel has been on crop tour for 13 years, and she says the dry weather in June definitely took a bite out of the crop here. I personally thought that we would lose some of the top bushels just based off what the weather has been, and we're definitely seeing that. The area was dry from May 7th to the end of June, but the derecho that blasted across Illinois on June 29th was a game changer. I think across the, the whole state of Illinois, it, it really propelled everything forward and, and probably saved some people from um, having failures. We got several inches, you know, two to three to four to six up in Will County, Illinois. Um, just a big stretch. I feel that soybeans took it a little bit harder than what corn did. One of those reasons may have been low overnight temps. The other, the smoke from the Canadian wildfires this summer. The theory is that kind of dissipates that solar radiation. I think that kind of helped that plant stall out a little bit while we were dry until we caught up uh, towards tassel time when we caught those rains. Pockets of sudden death syndrome and phytophthora are showing up slightly across Illinois soybean fields. In the corn, Pettit says tar spot was confirmed in Iroquois and Livingston counties just this week. At this stage in the game, I'm not overly concerned. Um, other than going into harvest, if it does blow up, we could get some uh, potential stock issues. But with heavy morning dew and the fact 2021 was also a dry June, similarities and warning signs are starting to pop up. I would say, in my opinion, we're 8 to 10 days early from really determining whether it's going to still be problematic this year or not. I mean, there's still a good 35% to 40% to of that yield left to be packed in those kernels uh, from a starch and dry weight standpoint. Overall, it's a good crop in Illinois that was saved by both late June and July rains. Uh, around my area, it's probably uh, decent. It's not, it's not gonna be a bend buster, but it's not gonna be a failure either. 